Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Villa Harmony. I decided to make this video today real quickly to deal with uh, an issue that one of our legends communicated with me by direct message. And the reason I chose to jump on this topic is because it can affect beginner cyclists or experienced cyclists. And it centers around your IT band and different knee discomforts that can come from either running or cycling. And of course, since we cycle here on this channel, I'm going to focus on cycling. I'm going to start by reading his message first. Uh, this, this legend is uh, from Romania. And Romania is one of those uh, Eastern European countries that uh, I find to be interesting because that region has a lot of history and you know when you think about just uh you've got countries around romania like serbia bulgaria to the south you got hungary to the i believe hungary is to the west you have austria to the west of hungary then bosnia and herzegovina you have the ukraine moldova and then you have turkey to the southeast of romania then you have Poland north of there, then Slovakia, where Peter Sagan is from, Czechia and Germany. Uh, I hope I didn't slaughter those names, but that area has deep history. Um, also, this time of year, it's cold there. And depending on what you're doing, uh, if you don't dress properly when you're going out, you can cause some of these problems. So what I've decided to do is make this video and also I wrote a blog that kind of gives more details into what people need to look at. But um, I'm going to read his message because this is what got me to do this video. His name is Sergu Mihai. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So out of, I think Sergu or Sergiu. It's S-E-R-G-I-U. Sergiu or Sergu Mihai. He says, hello, been following your videos for a long time. Your information helped me dial in my fit on my specialized tri-cross bike that I use for loaded cycle touring. I have recently bought a vintage steel giant Peloton super light that I will also fit using your videos. I think it would be great if you did a video talking about your off the bike work. If you do or do not stretch, if you do what exercises do you use, do you do flexibility work? And he said, many cyclists, including myself, have been dealing with different common issues for cycling, such as the shortening of muscles and tendons, knee and IT band pain. It would be very interesting to find your opinion on this matter or get your opinion on this matter. He said, have a great day. Keep up the amazing work. I'm one happy rider with a great fitting bike because of you. Best wishes from Romania. Sergio. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Sergio. Um, these are the kind of messages that really encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing on this channel. That was the reason this channel was set up so that people could use it. Those who had the aptitude and help themselves either fit, fit themselves at home or ask better questions when they did go to a fitter. So it's really good when I get these. The reason I decided to deal with this now is that since he's talking about off the bike work, I will put a link here, uh, Sergio, for uh, the video that I use. And those of you who may not be aware of it, I have a video where I recommend specific stretches that have the most emphasis for the muscles that we use in cycling and what I do after every ride. Uh, I mostly stretch after I've done some kind of physical activity because it's just the muscles are warm and they're more pliable and it's just more comforting. It helps me recover. And so I explained that in that video. But what I wanted to address here, let me read this. I went ahead and looked up some stuff as I built, uh, I was writing the blog on the website. So I'm going to insert this video also, and I'll put a link in the description to the website blog so you guys can read up the details that I found regarding this IT band stuff that we need. Those of you who are experiencing this problem needs to be aware of. But I'm going to read an excerpt here. It said that, as your knee repeatedly flexes and extends, your IT band can easily become inflamed if your knee is not tracking properly. Comes back to fit. Okay? Something's off. Out of your cleat, 
maybe saddle, something's causing your knee not to track. And a lot of times if your knee is not tracking, make sure the height is right. Make sure your cleats, lateral adjustment is correct because that can affect you. Because as your knee repeatedly flexes and extends, the band can become inflamed. During a pedal stroke, the band crosses over the epicondyle once on the downstroke and again on the upstroke. If a cyclist, for example, who pedals at a cadence of 80 RPM, which is equivalent to about 160 slides per minute, in a one-hour ride, that IT band will rub across the knee 9,600 times. So, the body is amazing at letting you know something's wrong. But it, it, it's just a symptom of, an, of another problem. Something's causing the discomfort and you want to pay attention to that and try to reverse engineer and find out what's causing that discomfort. Um, runners have IT band issues. Runners have tight hamstrings. I don't believe that your hamstrings are shortening because if your hamstring was shortening, whether from running or whatever, you get those tightness. That's just from working out. Think about it. The IT band has no uh, flexibility as far as stretching. So if your hamstring had shortened, you wouldn't be able to even stand and put your leg down. So what I, what I believe you're experiencing is that something is causing the IT band in your knee to be off track is rubbing on something. There's some kind of twisting motion it doesn't like. So look at your cleat setup. Do your feet feel free? Like you're in beach slippers. Or, or does your shoe feel like it's grabbing your foot? You know, does your foot feel restricted? If you watch the group ride videos when I'm pedaling, my foot is almost like it's slapping the pedal. The cleat, whatever you're using the mountain bike type of SPD, those small metal ones, or the look style cleats, which Shimano calls SPD-SL, or if you're using speed play, shouldn't matter. All of them have lateral adjustment. The human knee does not go straight down. I, I did a, a video about the tracking of your knee. I will put a link here as well to that. Maybe you, you missed that, uh, so you can kind of review that. But the human Leg does not go straight in a line. We all have our unique. So you, at the top of the pedal stroke, your knee may be here. And by the bottom, it may do like this. You don't really see it, but there's a, there's a kind of a movement like that. Okay, that's the way. So if, if your shoe and the cleat is lo being locked in, and skiers have the same problem. It's not just cyclists. When you lock into the ski boots, if that doesn't feel right, you, that's what they tell you when you're skiing. It, there's such a high propensity to injure yourself in a fall that they tell you that if you're looking at an obstacle, look away from it. When I, you know, I did a little bit of skiing years ago. It's just one of the things I didn't really get into. But you're supposed to be very careful to avoid falls or whatever because unlike the bike where we disengage, it's not as easy to disengage from your skis it will happen but there are more forces more twisting forces so let me get back to what what i was talking about here something's off if you're feeling pain in the knee whether it's your it band or whatever any kind of discomfort says you might want to do some additional tweaks look at that cleat loosen it a little bit sit on the trainer pedal see if you can get that to settle okay um Pay attention. Is there any kind of a grabbing force as you ride your bike? Do your feet feel like something's tugging at them? They should be free and clear and just floating. It should be a neutral position for you. So that, that's where I would advise you to do is look. Then the second thing is when you go out and it's cold. And that's why I read all those countries near where you are in Romania. You guys have cold weather. And you know us guys, sometimes we like to tough it out. Don't tough it out. Cover your knee because that area does not have a lot of tissue. Make sure it's covered when you go out in the cold. That's another thing to be aware of. And yes, stretching will help ease your muscles and also enhance your recovery. Okay, it's a supplement. It's a nice thing to do. It's great to do because it actually helps relieve the muscles from all the contraction that they've been doing during your workout. But 
Stretching will not solve the IT band problem. Something else is causing the IT band problem. And I believe it's related to a biomechanical fit issue between you, your cleat, and the machine or your, your, your saddle area. Because I don't believe it's necessarily just the cleat per se, but I think that it is the lateral adjustment of your cleat because a lot of those IT band things have to do with tracking like a toe in kind of thing or a toe out. So you got to make sure your foot is neutral, that you don't feel any tugging forces. So that's what I wanted to address because it's important that we pay attention to our bodies. It's important that we don't neglect the symptoms it's giving us. It's letting you know you have a problem. And since you do loaded touring, you, you're probably riding harder in certain situations where you have a loaded bike and you come to a grade or the wind. And so maybe your cadence drops or whatever. So when something's off and you muscle a big gear, it ex exacerbates the problem. Remember that. So just review. I'm not saying that your fit is terribly off, but always have an open mind. Because if you're having these little, I call them little niggling issues, you just need a slight tweak. And I think I would recommend you start at the cleat area based on what usually causes that some kind of tracking is off. So something's getting your, your IT band is rubbing against maybe the patella or something and it doesn't like that. And that's what the body's telling you something's off. So my suggestion would be go for that neutral feeling in your feet. Anyway, if your saddle is off out of high or too low, you can have pain in the knee. But as far as your IT band, I believe that it's a lateral issue. It's a, so I would advise you to just focus on how the cleat feels and whether your foot feels free in there. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I will put the information for the videos in the description as well that I recommend. I will put some cue cards in YouTube to direct you to the video on stretching and the video on setting your cleats because I have that. I will put the playlist for the cleat setting so you can look at that as well. But review those because the cleat and the saddle are the two integral part of your fit in the seat area. You got three contact points, your saddle, your foot, and the handlebars. And you do that in that order. You set your saddle, you make sure the, the feet, your cleats are adjusted to where you stay, where you want to be, and then you set your bars. So you've already done your own fit. And I think that maybe your cleat may be off. And those cleats do come loose. You've seen on some of the videos, I stop on the road, I got to tighten them. They come loose. Maybe it moved. Maybe something moved. And so you strain that area. Stretching's not going to fix that. It's just going to relieve the muscular aching and have your muscle recover. But that IT band issue is there because it's rubbing on something. It, it doesn't like the way your leg is tracking. So, so look at your cleat setup and, and that should help you. So I hope this helps all of you to have the, 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 the wherewithal to always pay attention to what's going on. Because these things are not set it and forget it. Um, your bodies may change as you work out more. And so maybe it wants you to tweak something that you thought was, was great before. You may need to do slight adjustments. And a lot of times they're very minute. Uh, but a millimeter here or there or two can make a difference in the, the comfort of your, your knee. You should not have any discomfort in your knee. You shouldn't be because of cycling. The more you cycle... It will just bring out things that are off. So as you begin to do more and you start having these problems, it was always there. You just never did it long enough for the aches to come to your attention. So go back. Don't do anything drastic when you're making these changes. Make small changes. Remember where you're starting from. Document that. I made a video on how to measure stuff on your bike once you've done your fit. And um, I don't know if you need that. Just put a comment down here. And I will put the link for that, but they're, they're all there in the bike fit videos, how to measure your fit, all of that. So look at the videos for, I think, believe the, the playlist for pedaling and some of the links I will put here to help you find out what's going on. The adjustments are usually small, but it make big differences in your comfort. So once you close, your adjustments are between one to three millimeters and they can make the difference between discomfort and painless cycling. Okay, so. The weekend's coming up. 
check into that and continue riding and you should have no pain. If, you're, if this continues, you and I can talk about it offline. I mean, we offer services where we can help you with your fit. And if you sign up, Sergio and the rest of you that may need that, send the, I, will, I will send you the link to the Google Drive where you can film yourself riding and put your video out there, a minute or two of yourself on the bike, out on the trainer or outside, and I can evaluate and look at see, and see if I spot anything. Okay? So make sure you get your miles in. Don't let anything hold you back.